welcome, welcome. So let's begin, Marianne. Tell us a little bit about uh, yourself just in life, about your family and your lifestyle first. Okay, so I am, I am a stay-at-home mother. Um, I do have seven children. I'm a blended family. So I have 18, 18. That's two set of boys. I have 15 and 15. That's another set of boys. <laughs> I have um, 14 and 13. That's another set of boys. And then I have one daughter and she is 16 years old. So I am a stay at home mama. I used to work, but with my husband, but I stay at home and well, now I just have a boutique at home. <laughs> I love it. She has her own Jaffer boutique at home. She calls it and brings people there for her appointments. So Marianne, you tell us your little quick Jaffra journey. How did you meet Jaffra? When did you begin? And what was the defining change that made you create your Jaffra boutique at home? Okay, so I started back in 2012. I was introduced to Jaffra by one of my sisters. She came over to uh, where I live and she did a facial for me and my friend. Um, I really like the skincare. So at that point in time, she did advise me that if I signed up as a member that I would receive 30 to 50% off of my products or whatever I ordered uh, during that time that I didn't have to sell or anything. And so that's exactly what I did. And from 2012 until now, I've always uh, done skincare. I've always taken care of my skin. Props to my mom. Thank you, mommy, because if she does watch this, she did uh, teach me to take care of my skin. But it was my sister that introduced the Jaffra, and that is what um, I stuck with. I stuck with the Jaffra there, and I kind of lost during the thought. You and asked how long me, ago was that? How long ago is that? That was in 2012, and now we are in 2019. So yes. what happened, because you were working with your husband in his landscaping business, right? And yes. you landed on something on YouTube that was a defining moment that changed your why. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh my gosh, I just want to get emotional. I'm not, whew. Okay, so um, I was just, um, sorry, I don't, that's just me. I just- No sorry. Um, whoo, Yeah. No sorry. So okay, no sorry for being me. Okay, so um what happened is I was on YouTube. Um I worked with my husband for three years in landscaping. And um um I worked with him for three years in landscaping and I wanted something different. I mean, my hubby's my hubby, and at work it's it's different. He was now my boss, and so I told him I want to do something different. So I was on YouTube looking for videos in Jaffra in English. <laughs> and for the love of me, I could not find English. So I ended up bumping into Anita Diaz and she is on YouTube. They call her Jaffra Anita and I saw a video of her and she inspired me. She got her Mazda and that day was a moment for me like, oh my gosh, she got her Mazda. I could do this. So from that day on, I remember texting my manager. I remember texting my sister and I told her that I was watching videos and I said, you know what? I've already known the skincare. I could do this. I could, this is what I could do. I could work from home. And, um, I don't know, that's, that's where everything happened. Just there in that video through YouTube, I decided I was inspired by Anita Diaz. And I said, oh my gosh, I want to get my car. Like I I'm going to go for this. And that is how Jaffra just, I don't know, something woke up in me and it was from that video. From looking for English videos, I bumped into a Spanish one and that girl was like, wow, I love her work ethic. Work ethic. I love it. And, and I know most recently you are so inspired again by Jamie Cruz, um, our oh, first yes. general market <laughs> uh, Mazda achiever. And uh, so that that is just a great story. So tell us a little bit about you, you decided, so you told your husband, I'm done, honey, I'm going home and I'm doing Jaffa. So this is in 2019, right? And so again, it's last year during COVID, I believe it was about March of 2020 that you come back, you're a manager, you're, you're growing your team. Uh, so tell us, what did you do? You, you had this emotional, okay, I found my why, you're starting to get the business in place. You want to grow your team and you do it. 
Tell us what were some of the things that you did to get that business going during COVID and now even post COVID? Okay, so what I did was I can still remember like it was yesterday, the second week of March is when COVID started happening over here for me. And I remember having to cancel about seven facials and I was like, no, seven facials at seven people. But um, I decided, you know, um, that I was gonna get YouTube. Um, I was afraid to go on YouTube. Mind you, uh, my daughter doesn't reside with me at this moment, but she was gonna be my YouTube star. She was gonna do everything on YouTube for me. But uh, mind you, she's she's not with me at the moment. So I ended up stepping out anyways, afraid on YouTube during the pandemic. And I started doing videos. You guys know how we have the postal cards in Defy and all the different kinds of postcards that we have. So what I did was I made it a goal to get contact information. I received that contact information. After I received it, I told these people, I am going to mail you a postcard. And I would put the brochure in there and everything. And then I would tell them. And then afterwards, I am going to send you a video. And it's going to be me instructing you with that postcard how to use the facial, how it works, and everything in detail with exactly that postcard, no extra information. And then I would call them. And that is how I began to generate sales um, during the pandemic. Like I had to improvise. And that is a thought that came to my mind. And I thank God because I really believe that it came from him. He helped me to just step out and go out there and do it. So afraid or not, you step out, right? So if I could yes. have a big mantra from you, I, I, as we were doing our pre-interview, you kept saying, I just did it anyway. It didn't matter. And so tell us this. So as you then are growing this business, it's working, you had to quickly shift from in person, you had seven facials booked, you turned those into YouTube parties. I love that, sending samples and teaching them. And so now tell us, how did you meet Angelica? <laughs> Your new well, manager. That's the, thing. Uh, that's the thing that I love the most um, that, you know what? One thing that I could tell you guys is just do things afraid, even if you're afraid. I mean, my hands are literally sweating right now. But you know what, just do things afraid because you know what, I wasn't going to step into YouTube and I decided to and you know what, my manager came from YouTube and that just, wow, that just makes me so happy like only God knew that she would have came from YouTube and, and sometimes I think back and I'm like, man, God, if I wouldn't have stepped out, you know, this couldn't have happened, right? But yes, I met Angelica through YouTube. She was when I would do the samples that I was mailing out those cards, I guess I had posted those videos of me doing facials and stuff. And those, she started putting the comments that she was interested in. And I was very patient with her. Um, I worked with her. Uh, she did take a while. And I, one of the things that I did ask her is I told her, Angelica, did I ever come off pushy to you? Like, was I a pushy person? And she did tell me, no. She's like, you never came off as pushy. Like, I was always helpful. I always, and you know what? That's that's what I want it to be. But what better than to ask her? And so I asked her and she said, no, the way you did it was fine. And and that's how I got her. And she's she's pumped and she's she's going. And I'm, I'm just so grateful for her. I love that. So some of your tips would be do it, go live, go YouTube, do things you may not know how to do, right? Facials and parties, I know, again, is your strong suit. You invite people to your Jaffa boutique when you go out prospecting continuously. Uh, so there's also, you shared something else, one of your tips, you, you work with lead bags. So yeah. tell us a little bit, because I know a lot of your, your sponsoring team building has come through this as well as your personal sales. Tell us a little bit about the lead bags. Okay, so the lead bags, and I actually came prepared. <laughs> so the lead bag actually looks like this, guys. So I make about, I had like about seven of them right now. I just work with three because I do get quite a bit of contacts. But I just get that cute little bag and I just go leave it wherever and whenever. Whenever I get the chance, um, I get a certain amount. You could get over a hundred contacts 
um, and you have a lot to work with. But I make this cute little bag. It was very inexpensive. Uh, I tore half of an envelope here, and then I made little um, cards here. They have to fill out that information. I attach a cute little pin to it here, and then it has the information there, and bam, I leave that little bag. Preferably, I would love if they let me leave it at the register. Some people do, some people don't, but either way, I still get my information and that's how I do it. I usually leave it on a Friday and then I will pick it up on a Monday because it works my week. Since I try not to do much work in the weekend, I just hustle Monday through Friday. Then that is, this is my work without work, if that makes sense. And then on Monday, I go pick them up and I have so much contact information to, to work with. And I have people coming in my shop and or I'll go to people, however it works, but that's how I do it, yes. I love it. The weekend bag does the work for you. So you work Monday through Friday and you let the weekend bags do the work. Brilliant. So just one other question, and then I wanna end with your why and your future. So when I asked you, how do you grow your team? How do you add so many consultants to your team? You talked about you just, whether you're knocking on doors, walking in businesses, you love to invite people to the business. Give us just a little dialogue of what you say when you walk in and meet somebody about joining the business. Okay, so one of the things that I do the most is um, on days that I go, I either have cash and carry. Um, I will just go in. I like to attack the loan places. That's just me. That's like my go-to. But I will literally go in the loan place and I will walk in there and I will smile and I will say, hi, how are you? My name is Marianne. Um, I actually have a boutique here in Harlingen. And you know what? I just want to share a catalog with you. And I'm just friendly with them. I'm nice with them. Sometimes I'll even get people that will tell me, oh my gosh, you do skincare? Like, um, I have this concern and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's a conversation. But um, I just go in there and that's how I do it. But the key here is when I go in there and I give them that catalog and, you know, I make a little friendship, a little bond with them. Um, I will tell them I'll come back in about three days to see if you want anything from that from that catalog. I'll order it for you. Or at that time, I also get contact information, but I'm also respectful to the ones that don't want to share contact information because sometimes at that point they don't want to. But I don't let that stop me. I'll come back and give them a visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I just simply tell them, if you could please, um, uh, I'll pick up the catalog because I know they're in a loan place and they're working. So I just tell them, if you can go ahead and give me the catalog, fold the page for me. So when I pick it up, it's folded and you mark what you want and then you put the quantity on there. That way I'm not disrupting their time because they are working and I'm just going in and I'm picking up a catalog. And then I'll just put there with the sticky note, this is my events or whatever. And then I have all those books and I come put in orders and that's the way I do it. Awesome. And I know your favorite part is inviting them to have their own business. So- Oh yes. Yeah. After a while that they're my clients, I will introduce the business because they already have so much staff for us. So why not be a member now? <laughs> I love that because I know one thing that we're hearing is you're very good at building relationships, listening, respecting what their needs are, the way they want to be communicated, but inviting everyone to have an opportunity to take a look or give a try to Jaffra and come have a facial even at your boutique. And I know your next goal is to learn the virtual app, um, yes. both of the apps as a whole new way to do the future business, just like you did with YouTube. So before we go, our final minute, tell us this, Marianne, what motivates you next? Where are you going? What is your vision? Where am I going? Well, I'm going to reach that ambassador level and I'm taking my car with me. <laughs> that is what I, that is what I want. I have never... Uh, I don't want to say I haven't reached success, but like, I just have never done such a huge accomplishment and that's what I want to do. And, um, I just leave everything in God's hands. And I do have a scripture that I look at all the time when I am in my office, it's really big. And it says, um, where there's no vision, basically the people perish. And so I just have this vision. Like if I were just to close my eyes, I can I can see myself in gold. I can see myself in red and I can see myself in my car. Um, and I don't know that it's just in me. Like I see it. And I know that with working every day hard and doing what I'm doing, 
I'm going to get there because obviously I've already been doing what I need to do and I advanced. So I know that I'm going to keep going and I want to take everybody with me that wants to come along. I'm willing to help them as well. Marianne, we know you will be in gold. We'll hit red first. That's just a stop, right? Yeah. But <laughs> we want to say thank you. I love somebody typed in the chat. If your why doesn't make you cry, <laughs> is it stretching you enough? We know where you're going. We are here with you, right alongside you. And we thank you so much again, because you are a complete woman of mind, body, and heart. And today, we love your heart. Thank you for who you are. And thank you for sharing. And we're right behind you. We can't wait to see you get both the Mazda and the Mercedes. So thank you again, Marianne Garcia, future ambassador from Texas. Thank you so much, Marianne. Thank you.